Hey guys, welcome back. This video we're going to be talking about determining if a number is prime algorithmically. So, like I've, I've told you guys numerous times, I am no mathematician. I know it's important, and I'm trying to get better, but it's always been challenging. And because of that, I'm doing this for my own personal exercise. Um, you know, brain exercise, not like physical exercise, of course. <laughs> So just to prove to you guys that I know nothing, I even looked some stuff up and I'm, I'm going to show it to you guys. <laughs> In the previous video, I talked to you guys about an optimization we could do when, when checking if a number is prime. And I mentioned it had to do with like the square root, I believe. And basically, if we're checking using the modulus operator, if there is a remainder, we don't have to do that with all numbers up until the number. All we have to do is go up to the square root. And this guy explains it. If you guys want to know more, you can go to this website. And another thing is, you don't actually have to try all numbers. You only have to try the prime factors. So like if something's divisible by 10, it would also have to be divisible by 2 and by 5. So I could see us using this one fairly easily. But since I'm just going to be using a simple for loop, I'm not going to be referencing a chart of the, the prime factors. I might not worry about this one, but we'll, we'll see if we get far enough to do this, the square root part. All right, but enough time wasting. Basically what we need to do is we need to just code away and see where we get, where we go. So the very first thing is we're just gonna start with an input, um, and I'm not gonna get this from the user right now, I'm just gonna hard code it. And we wanna know if this is prime. And I usually like to just assume things are prime to begin with, so. We're gonna use true and false, a flag basically, to say, hey, this this is this is uh this is prime. And then now, and now we're going to go through the code to prove otherwise. So how do we do that? Well, we're gonna use a for loop. And if for any number between, including the number twenty four, all the way down to two. If it's divisible evenly by any of those numbers, then it is not prime. So that is the easiest way to check if a number is prime. So we're gonna start with int i equal to, what did I, I put in 25, gosh, I'm stupid. All right, input equals 25. Okay, int i equals input. I'm not gonna code 25 twice because eventually we're gonna be able to get that from user input. So int i equals input, and as long as i is greater than one, we're going to decrement. So let's just print the number, and we'll just see the, the range we get. Okay. So it's starting at 25. We don't actually want to test 25. So what we're going to want to do is do input minus one, which makes sense obviously because 25 divided by 25 is going to work. <laughs> and then it would say it's it's not prime, even though it is. Oh, well, this situation it's not, but that it could be. Yeah, never mind. Just ignore me. We just need to make it input minus one. Trust me. <laughs> okay. And it goes down to two, which is good because if it was an even number, divisible by two, yeah, that would get it. So that is the good range. Now we need to, to basically do a test. And we need to use the modulus operator. So if I, or sorry, if if um, input modulus I is zero, meaning there was perfect division, integer division with no remainder, then what we do is we say is prime is false. Then down here we could basically condition on the value of is prime. So if it's true, and because this is a boolean, we don't have to say equals equals true. It just it's as good as is um, because everything evaluates to true and false in these if statements. So if is prime, we'll just print is prime. Otherwise we're going to print the opposite. And I'm also gonna put a new line before it just because um, that way it goes onto a new line after these numbers. So let's try it. Oops, uh, there we go. Not prime. So let's try 
a prime number, like 23. I'm getting the hiccups. Is prime. So it seems to be working. If we tried 24, it's not gonna work. It's, it's gonna work, but it's gonna say it's, it's not prime. There we go. And now let's try some smaller numbers. Five. Awesome, so it's working. Now where exactly does that optimization come in? Well, back to this article. So the square root is the, the highest number we need to check against. Comparing that to our code, we're basically saying, hey, we don't need to go all the way from the input. We could just go from the square root of the input. So that would look something like um, square root. And I think you have to have an include. Let me just compile um, and see if it says anything. Yeah, so we, I think it's math.h maybe. Oh, um, yeah, it, that is, it is include math.h. I just had a typo. Okay. And inside the function, I just think we use the input. And let's say, let's go with a bigger number like 25. not prime. How is this working exactly? Well, it's gonna set i equal to five. When we set the value equal to five, what's gonna happen is we have 25 checking the remainder with five, and it's going to be zero, which is not gonna work. Now, if we try a prime number, such as 23, is prime. Cool, so let's go back to this here. Let's just grab one of these. So supposedly this is a prime number. Let's see if it is. Because our code is infallible. <laughs> Get rid of them, those commas. And it's prime. Wow, that's actually kind of cool. So that's how you check if it's prime. In the next video, we're going to kind of finish out our application where we uh, try to find all of the prime numbers from a particular input down to zero. So be sure to subscribe and check out that video. Thank you guys and see you then.